Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time, the Friday edition. And we are in Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. The Bible says this beginning at verse 1. Then I witnessed in heaven an event of great significance. I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant and she cried out because of her labor pains and the agony of giving birth. Then I witnessed in heaven another significant event. I saw a large red dragon with seven heads and 10 horns with seven crowns on his heads. His tail swept away one third of the stars in the sky and he threw them to the earth. He stood in front of the woman as she was about to give birth, ready to devour her baby as soon as it was born. She gave birth to a son who was to rule all nations with an iron rod, and her child was snatched away from the dragon and was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where God had prepared a place to care for her for 1260 days. Then there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels, and the dragon lost the battle, and he and his angels were forced out of heaven. This great dragon, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens. It has come at last, salvation and power in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. And they have defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who live in the heavens rejoice. But terror will come on the sea, on the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has little time. When the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But she was given two wings like those of a great eagle, so she could fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness. There she would be cared for and protected from the dragon for a time, times, and half a time. Then the dragon tried to drown the woman with a flood of water flowed from his mouth. But the earth helped her by opening its mouth and swallowing up the river that gushed out from the mouth of the dragon. And the dragon was angry at the woman and declared war against the rest of her children, all who keep God's commandments and maintain their testimony for Jesus. Then the dragon took his stand on the shore beside the sea. So chapter 12 is one of the great uh, imageries, if you will, in the book of Revelation. It depicts the great war that will take place between um, heaven and hell, between God and Satan, between good and evil. It depicts the time of great tribulation on the earth. But as we read these things and try to, to wrap our heads around them, um, we need to focus out of this chapter uh, and, and zoom in on one verse, really. As this great battle is taking place, let us look once again at verse 11. As this battle is taking place, verse 11 says, and they have defeated him, the enemy, by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their life so much that they were afraid to die. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who live in the heavens rejoice. So this is the victory that takes place, good versus evil, the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of Satan. And it's all, the victory is all won by the power of God, but the the warriors in the battle will win the battle we are talking about us we are talking about the 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 people of god the the ones who are willing to give their lives for the cause of christ verse 11 says they have defeated him how by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony folks those are two great weapons the blood of the lamb that we have through Jesus Christ, and then the testimony that we have of what the sacrifice of Jesus has done for us. 
we're talking about future events here, but I want us to understand that the, the battles that we face every day, we have already been given victory because of the blood of the lamb and our testimony, the testimony of what God has done in our lives already should be the motivation, should be the empowering factor of each of our lives. May that be so today for each and every one of us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for, again, for the, the book of Revelation, for its wonderful imagery and, and what we see will take place um, and that you win the victory. Help us today, Lord, to realize that the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus has covered us for all eternity and it gives us power today. As the old song says, Father, there is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. May we hold on that to that fact and that truth today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a fantastic Friday. I want to invite you to join us this weekend as we worship at West Shore, 11 o'clock on Sunday. We'll be kicking off a brand new teaching series. Uh, we are calling it, What If? The tagline is, What If We Were All In? We're going to spend about six weeks talking about the importance of sharing our faith, of being intentional about talking to people about Jesus, about getting into people's lives and helping them to understand the truth of who Jesus is. So I encourage you to join us Sunday as we kick off this, this new series. And as, a, as is our custom at West Shore, as we kick off new, each new serial, series, we will be celebrating with the Lord's Supper uh, communion together. So join us if you can, and uh, we'll look forward to a great time in the Lord. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.